Good day, students. My name is Fanny Yi Sunday Olateju, your literature teacher. Our topic for today's literature lesson is the analysis of African poem titled A Government Driver on His Retirement by Onu Kinsley Chibuke. Lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to interpret the poem analyze the poem in terms of poetic devices, discuss the themes of the poem, and explain the events in the poem. Lesson introduction. The poet treats the death of a retired driver in a motor vehicle accident after drinking alcohol to excess on his retirement day. Alcohol can affect driver's cognition, vigilance, attention, judgment, attitude, perception, reaction, and thinking faculty which are related to driving ability. People are killed in alcohol impaired driving crashes. Researchers have shown that average speed speed standard deviation, lane position deviation are significantly higher under the influence of alcohol. Hence, this poem is based on a driver whose happiest moment turned to a tragedy as a result of excessive drinking of alcohol. Summary of the poem. The poet combined narration with the rare species of the poet persona who is a government driver as he meritoriously retired from government service after 35 years and was holding celebration. The poet pointed out the high moral standard of the driver that restrained himself from drinking alcohol in obedience to the rules and regulation as contained in the civil service rule. The retirement day was quite different because it was no longer under rules and regulations. The driver had a clean record of service. Hence, he has an opportunity for a post-service award titled, beginning of quotation, eligible for his country's service, end of quotation, line 8. The driver invited all his well-wishers to come and celebrate his retirement with him as the day mark his freedom. He boasted, beginning of quotation, I shall booze and sue myself home. Hardly to duty tomorrow holds not. End of quotation. In other words, the driver wanted to drink himself to stupor because there is no work or punctuality to work again. The driver was also rewarded with a brand new car as a way of appreciating his meritorious service and unblemished 35 years of service. The driver saw himself as a king in his kingdom and drank himself to stupor. Beginning of quotation. And so he boos and boos. He battle with his bottle boos. End of quotation. Line 25 to 28. The last stanza revealed that the driver was excited while he drove home and continued to drink alcohol greedily and continually out of his senses vision and judgment. There is a motor vehicle collision. He hits his brand new car against a particular object that made a deep and loud sound. Beginning of quotation. He boomed his brand new car. End of quotation. 
1931. The traffic collision resulted in driver's instant death, as he predicted in line 22, beginning of quotation. Joy to no more joy to joy, end of quotation. The pleasant way the poet reported the possibility of driver's death on the world is in itself humorously surprising the reader. End of beginning of quotation. And it sends him home, home to rest in peace. End of quotation. Lines 31 to 32. Students don't go away as you want to pause here briefly. Students, welcome to the second segment of today's lesson. Teams A. Recklessness of motor vehicle driver. After using 35 years on government service, which leads to the statutory retirement of the poorest persona, who is a driver. The daredevil driver display is superlative degrees of irresponsibility by inviting all his well-wishers to celebrate with him in alcoholic drinking. Beginning of quotation. Come, friend, rejoice with me. I shall booze and sue myself home. End of quotation. Lines 9 to 10. The meaning conveyed by the word booze betrays the driver's stupidity and foolishness. The meaning of booze is to drink intoxicating liquor to excess. However, the madcap action of the reckless driver hands him the premature or untimely death in a motor vehicle accident. Another theme is the joy of retirement. The poet adopts the humorous tone to show the dry, retired driver's excitement on the day of his retirement. The driver is rewarded with a brand new car by the government. Beginning of quotation. A brand new car in his name. An appreciative symbol for undetected 35 years of service. End of quotation. Lines 18 to 20. The government rewarded him for his undetected service year and for maintaining the rules and regulation of his ministry. Another theme is Lancerfier attitude. Although the retired driver is a law-abiding citizen and obeys the duty rules and regulation, line 6, he has I don't care attitude to life. His predictions and premonition about his own death bear a testimony to his careless attitude to life. Beginning of quotation. Come friends, rejoice more. Joy to no more joy to joy. End of quotation. Lines 21 to 22. Beginning of another quotation. And so he boos and boos. End of quotation. Line 25. The daredevil driver indicates that he is ready to drink greedily and continually to his own death until there is no more joy reserved for him again. No wonder, is that is not a surprise to readers. We can infer that the poet is elucidating a point that cars are not the killer, but those that drive them must be careful and show a positive attitude to life, otherwise death will continue to occur anytime. Another theme is freedom from servitude. The driver considers his end of government service as a freedom because when one is in the service, he should be ready to accept any form of sub, sub education. The driver has endured his busy throat in obedience to duty rules and regulations. Hence, the driver will go home as a free man. Line 7. And Who's to sleep away his sovereigns? Line 15. Apart from thematic preoccupation, what are the moral lessons we can derive from the poem? One, 
our conduct must be guided with certain measures of moderation and discipline. Two, we should drive our cars carefully on the road. Three, the reward of diligence in government service. Four, dedication, faithfulness, and commitment to career. And five, reckless celebration of success. Students, don't go away. We want to pause here briefly. To pause here briefly. To pause here briefly. To pause here. Students, welcome to the last segment of today's lesson, which is poetic devices. One, the use of language. The language of the poem is very simple and accessible. The poet uses a narrative style and climatic flow of events to account for driver's life history through the third person perspective. The driver's identity is shrouded in mystery and the incident of his death was narrated by addressing him with third person singular masculine anaphoric pronoun as in many years on will in faithful service to his father's land. Today retires he home. Lines 1 to 3. To the use of direct speech. The poet combined narration with the direct speech made by the reckless driver, as in beginning of quotation. Come, friends, and rejoice more. End of quotation, line 21. Three, the use of irony. The poem is woven around irony because a driver who has served for 35 years and controlled his boozy truth from alcohol would die in such a reckless manner on will after taking alcohol excessively. Another device is use of euphemism. This is a mild expression substituted for one considered to be too harsh. The tragic collision which leads to the driver's death is announced in a pleasant way in the last stanza, beginning of quotation, and it sent him home to rest in peace, end of quotation, lines 31 to 32. Another poetic device is repetition. This is the dominant device used by the poet. For example, booze is repeated eight times. And the phrase, come friends and rejoice, is repeated twice. Also, the expressions 35 years of service and faithful service to father's land are repeated twice. Another device is the use of hyperbole. The retired driver is not a prisoner, but he exaggerates his retirement as if he has just been released from prison, as in line 12, beginning of quotation. Come celebrate my freedom, end of quotation. And line 7 says, beginning of quotation, today he will go home a free man, end of quotation. Even the poet Pansana sees himself as a king in his retirement, as line 23 indicates, beginning of quotation. Today, today free and makes me a king. Another device is the use of alliteration. To enhance the musicality of the poem, the poet uses alliteration in the following lines. Line 5, beginning of quotation, many years as he, the repetition of HH. Line 6, beginning of quotation, to duty rules and regulation, end of quotation, repetition of RR. Another device is called hyperbatting. 
This is a figure of speech in which the typical natural of natural orders of word is changed as certain words are moved out of order. As regards this poem, the examples are in line three, which says, beginning of quotation, today's retires e home instead of natural grammatical order of he retires home today. Students want to consider the bibliography. One, Duruti, 2019. Standard Literature in English. Two, Fanny S.O., 2019. Exam Reflection Literature in English, 12 poems for Waik and Neko. Thank you and God bless.